Notion is one of those productivity apps where you can really use it in your professional life, whether it be for note taking, for meeting notes, collaboration, exchanging ideas or documentation, or even using it as a full blown project management system. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Notion in your personal life. Let's get into it. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech, Everyday Tech for Everyday People. And in this video, we're going to go over how we can use Notion in your personal life. Now, if you're new to Notion, Notion is an all-in-one application to help organize your personal and professional life. Now, in the past, I've done a video on how to create a full-blown project management system with using Notion. I've done a bunch of live streams and a bunch of other videos on the basics of using Notion, but I wanted to give you some ideas and show you how I use it in my personal life as well. Now I'm going to run through some Notion pages that I created for my personal life that I actually use, some on a daily basis as well. Now with Notion, you can make things as simple as you want it to be or as complicated as you want it to be. That's the beauty of Notion. You can really customize it to your personal needs. Now some of these pages are really simple. Some of them have a more of a visual uh, appeal or a visual look to them. So you can really customize it to your needs. But hopefully this will spark some ideas in you as well. Now, if you're a homeowner, you realize that there's a never ending list of projects that need to be done and a never ending list of house items that need to be either replaced or maintained. So having an inventory of those household items can be very useful. Now here I have a page called house items and personal items. I didn't separate this out because my list is not that long, but that's the beauty of notion is as this expands, as this list grows bigger, I can really break these things out in different ways without having to start over. But an example of a personal item is, let's say my contact lens prescription. Now at this point, I wanna say that there's a difference between using a Notion database table and a simple viewing table. Now a simple viewing table is within a page and it's really good for quick glance information. For example, in my air conditioned filter size here, I could take a quick glance and here is the size of it. But with a database table, you can get more detailed, uh, detailed information for each line item here. So for example, I have my prescription here for my contact lenses, but I can go into more detail here and I put the brand and the type of contact lenses I'm using within that brand. Another example is the deck, my deck color here. I don't, it doesn't have a particular size because it's a deck color, but I can open this up and I can actually insert an image of the swatch or sample color there. And so I can actually see the exact stain color that I'm using for my deck. So this is one useful way to just keep track of household items and even personal items. Now, if you wanted a more visual representation of your inventory, let's go to my studio setup page here. Now I have it in the table view for now, but I wanted to show you the different columns that I use. Uh, in particular, I have this type column here, and that's what we're going to be using to organize our setup here. Now I'm going to go to my layout that I created. It's the board layout that I called by type. And now we have a more visual representation of our inventory here. This is all the gear in my home studio setup here, and it's organized by type. You can actually change the type just by dragging and dropping to the different columns. Of course, this Mac mini is a hardware item, not a camera. Uh, and this, these thumbnails are represented by the actual item cover image. So up here, it doesn't look that great, but when you put it into this view, you can see the thumbnail here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new item here. I have my Keychron K7 mechanical keyboard. Let's see, the type would be an accessory. The brand would be Keychron here. And then I wanted to add a cover here and this gives you a random cover for now, but we wanna change the cover. And what I usually do is paste the Amazon product image here, URL. So let's go ahead and do that. That changes the cover image and let's go to our accessories here. And there is our keyboard. Of course, we don't have our Amazon affiliate link there. So let's grab that affiliate link and add it to our inventory here. And now we have our affiliate link there and I can go right to it by clicking on that or 
copying and pasting that into my live stream or my video. Shout out to Kat Mulvihill who came up with this idea or I saw, I saw it on her live stream, this kind of visual representation of inventory. And I'll show you one more page and it's actually a page that I actually use on a daily basis here. And it's based on a built-in template in Notion here. Let me show you that template itself. It's the habit tracker template. It's under the personal and under habit tracker. But this is a way to keep track of habits that you want to build up on a daily basis here. So for the template here, they have running, meditation, hours of sleep, journaling, screen time minutes, something to keep track that you want to kind of daily keep track. And I'm just going to show you how I've personalized it for myself here. And here's my personalized habit tracker I created based on that template. I've customized the columns to my personal needs. For example, I have make bed here. I have all these other personalized columns. I updated the icon based on what the column is. I've added the date here, and this is mainly for historical purposes and also organizational purposes. And I'll get into that in a moment. And one thing that you'll notice or realize when you start doing this is that you're gonna have a lot of entries as you keep on going. Now I started in March here, and now I have so many different entries here. And then later on, I went on vacation, so there's a period of time where I didn't keep track. And then I even have some future dates. The reason why I have some future dates is I don't wanna have to think about uh, every day, okay, I have to add a new entry, I have to put in the date. It gets a little cumbersome as far as entering the date, er, entering the day of the week. And so I put in the future dates, so I don't have to worry about that for a while. The nice thing about Notion databases is this is the raw database here, but I can create a new page that it can customize the view of this database here and also filter out old dates and only show a certain time period. So let me show you that now. Here we are in a new page called Daily Habits and I've embedded the actual habit tracker database into this page, but I'm filtering out and seeing only today's entry and the previous six days entries. We can get to the raw database by clicking on this link here. And this takes you to the raw database and with all the entries, but I only wanna see this kind of dashboard here. Another thing you can do with these dashboards is, let's say there's certain types of habits that you only wanna do for a period of time. And so you don't want these columns to get so wide and long. Let's say website maintenance. Let's say I'm not doing that anymore, but I have a historical record of things I did before. So what we can do is go into properties and we can just hide that by clicking on the eyeball here under website maintenance. And now it's not there anymore. So this is a nice way to kind of archive certain habits that you want to like you moved on from. But if we go into our raw database here, we can see that website maintenance is there still and there's some historical records in there. I think I added it and later on. And so now maybe if I don't need it anymore, I can just take it out of this view of this dashboard here. And the last thing I'll point out here is if we go into the raw database, I talked about those future date entries because I didn't want to have to manually enter in each individual date. I actually didn't enter any of these dates manually. I used the Notion API using some scripts that I created to uh, bulk enter in some of these dates. And so I'll do a future video on how I use the API and make that code available. So these are a few ways that I use Notion personally in my life. But I wanted to ask a buddy of mine, Ryan, on how he uses Notion. Here's a conversation I had with him. I personally, I'm going to share my screen. I personally have used um, kind of an analog planner. It's called Full Focus Planner. This thing is fantastic. And it basically looks like this in terms of setting up your daily. And it just has like its own little system and format. My main things was to try to wrangle all the different things that I needed to do, but then also be a way to kind of achieve, um, you know, some of these things that I want to accomplish for the year. So the way that I use Notion is I basically am going to share my screen or my Notion. So the thing is, is that I digitized essentially what is in that particular analog planner. Templates has been fantastic. I haven't done the quarterly. So you do annual, quarterly, and then like weekly and daily. 
I put weekly down here because I don't touch it as much, but um, so I'll go into kind of uh, actually all three of these. One of the two things, which has been awesome, I actually was able to achieve these two goals. My first annual, essentially it's a quarterly, but for the year, I wanted to do a career change. And then another thing was I wanted to apply for a master's program. Uh, I, I'll show the master's program one. Um, so um, clicking into this, I created this template where it shows you how to write smart goals. And so that specific measurable, achieve, achievable, relevant, and time bound. So I put here as a goal summary, which is part of the template. So the thing is, is that this, this template is actually from the full focus planner. And so it asks you, what is this goal? So I put intellectual, physical, and locational. It shows you what the motivations are what your next steps would be in order to reach that goal. And then it shows you what weekly steps to do and what your reward would be. This yeah. would be like a monthly tracker. So like if your goal was to, uh, so, so this is an achievement goal or a habit. So that's mostly for the habit. Um, so say you want to, um, you know, be more active on a daily basis to improve your health. Then maybe you make a habit goal of walking every day for like 10 minutes and then you can track, did I do it today? Yes, I walked for today. So that's, that's one thing in terms of um, like annual goals that I had for myself. Um, the other thing that I use on a daily is this thing has been fantastic. So I create, I created a template here inside, in, you know, in that inline database. So then when I click on it, this also represents, um, you know, the template for the day found in the full focus planner. So then I'll put, you know, talk with Patrick. I'm glad I made the big three though. So. <laughs> yeah, you're the, you're the third. Maybe we'll move you down here actually. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the thing that I did was I want to see on a timeline view on, so like in the full focus planner, you actually plan your day based on uh, the work hours, mm -hmm. like not nine to five or nine to six. So I'll put this here and just put like talk with Patrick and it duplicates it automatically here because I like to have a timeline view. And then I like to have the table view to say, you know, it's in progress. Yeah. So like, for instance, then I'll like after here, I'll know that like one thirty my time, I'm going to, you know, take dog for walk. And then that's like a to do for me. I, I like it having in both places because it's just, I can see as a snapshot and then nice. uh, tabular in a tabular view, I can actually take action on it. Um, and then, so the last thing I do is, and I haven't done it in a while, is really review how this last week went. And so I've created a weekly review template. So I'll say, you know, from, you know, last week to say um, on Sunday. So actually I, I messed that up. So this should be on the... Monday, um, then I can say, what was my biggest wins from last week? Nice. How far did I get in terms of my weekly big three? Because you're actually in this, in this template, I'm going to see what's this upcoming week's weekly big three. I usually do this on a Sunday in terms of review. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, um, you know, one of these was a uh, follow up with graduate application status. So then I can say, hey, from the week, did I get to 100%? So it's just like, here's a format. Here's something that I get moves from analog to, uh, uh, or to digital. And it's something that I use on a daily, weekly, quarterly. And, and it's been fantastic. So creating maybe the templates I, has been great. So maybe a notion technical question is, your annuals, weeklies, and dailies, are those three separate databases? They are three separate databases. And then the templates and the way that it's set up is making sure it's feeding into, you know, that particular database. And so maybe uh, as a future kind of enhancement, if there's a way that, to do it in Notion, or even if there's a way to do it now or a future feature, would it be helpful to like tie those three together somehow to auto-populate like you could choose a daily task from this daily one into your weekly, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just thinking out loud right now, but 
Yeah, like there's some <clears throat> like minor um, annoyances. Like when I create a template, it'd be nice if it auto populates into like a named column for the database. Yeah. So I don't have to like copy paste. Yeah. So those are some things that I would like in it, or I haven't dug in to see how to do that. Yeah. But in terms of like interacting with each other, if there was a way to get a view in terms of what's my weekly big three in my daily, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And then maybe I can actually be inputting some information there, but I haven't thought of, it, has, it hasn't been apparent in terms of how to connect that. So I haven't thought about it. Yeah, I guess my point is like, we're using these tools and of course we can't, we're not, we're not like, we're not naive in the sense of we know that there's some limitations, but we work around those limitations and, and, and overall they enhance kind of our workflow for our personal life as well. So, yeah, this definitely yeah. has enhanced my, just my life in general, both for personal and work, because um, it's been really organizing what I need to do. And then as well as um, allow me to get to accomplishing those goals that I have for myself. And then last question, has it eliminated basically some like multiple applications for you. So has it really combined kind of not just software, but you know, you, you have something like you were doing it physically on paper sometimes before. So has it really combined a lot of different processes for you? Yeah. If I sit back and think about it, I can have access to this way more easier now because I'm on my computer all the time, or I have access to my mobile device, whereas yeah. my physical planner, like if I forgot it at home, I cannot access it or like look up a note. Yeah. This has been great as we know in any application, especially for like searchability. I save a lot of notes that's outside of this focus planner for things that I need to reference. Yeah. Um, and it's just been super helpful. Nice. It's just been super helpful. Um, so it does replace a lot of things in terms of where I, where I used to save information. Mm -hmm. It's consolidated it. Nice. Yeah, I'm like slowly moving away from like Google Keep, which I had like a lot of lists. I mean, even putting like some of the few recipes that I know, like that I actually, few dishes that I cook, very few, of course, but like I don't cook that often. So I need to keep track of those things. People who cook more often, they don't even have to think about it. But for me, it's like, okay, I need to keep track. Okay, how long do I put this in for? How long do I put this in for? So anyway, there's a lot of personal things that we can do with that as well. So yeah. yeah. All right, thanks, Brian, for sharing. Yeah, welcome. So these are just a few ideas of how to use Notion in your personal life. If you can't tell, I'm a big fan of Notion. I use it both professionally and personally. Hope this sparks some ideas in you. How are you using Notion? Have you started yet? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.